Not so fast, evildoer. It's jail for you, you tasty villain. You and your chocolate chip gang are through. Boy, eating cookies is hard work. Ah, but there's only one more box to go, and I'll have 20 box tops. And that means... I can get the Pajama Man action figure with titanic elbow thrust. I can hardly wait. Sam! It's almost time for dinner. Dinner? Oh boy, I don't feel so good. Uh-oh, I don't think that was me. my dinner and now they've gone to cause trouble somewhere else. Somebody's got to stop them. Somebody like... Pajama Sam! Of course, I'll need my cape. Nope, nothing back here. Nothing back here. Oh. Nope, it's not behind here. Spoiling days are over. Pajama Sam is on his way. The pantry, of course. <laughs> Hello, is somebody there? <laughs> Nobody here but us potatoes. <laughs> I know you're in here. <laughs> what? Hey, that tickled. <laughs> Where are you taking me? What? Party. 
Yep. I'm a Sam. <laughs> of course, otherwise he wouldn't be here, right? for me? I think you spelled my name wrong. How's that? On the sign. Sam should only have one S. Oh, that? Oh, that's S-S-A-M. It stands for Snacks and Sweets Aggressive Majority. Oh. How long is this party gonna go on? It's a political party. It goes on forever. Wow. Um, thanks everyone. This is a great party, but I think I should be going now. It's almost my dinner time and I wouldn't want to spoil it. My mom made all that broccoli? <gasps> You can just wait here in jail until your trial next month, healthy boy. Next month? But it's almost time for dinner. Tell it to the fudge. Now if you'll excuse me, I've got to get back to the party. Fa la 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 la. I can't stay in here a whole month. I've got to get out of here. Oi, that's quite a lock. Hey, I think this is... Oops, gee, I didn't mean to break anything. Well, maybe this will come in handy. Oh boy, a box top! If I can find 20 of these, I can get a Pajama Man action figure with titanic elbow thrust. My name's Sam. I'm Florette. Are you a political prisoner too? I don't know. I think I'm in here because I said I didn't want to spoil my dinner. Hmm. The sweets don't always get along well with the other foods. But I'm not a food. Maybe I deserve a reward. <laughs> Hooray, it's open! Sam, you did it! Quick, let's get out of here before they come back. Okay, let's go. Sweet 
troops. We'd better not let them see us. I've got to get to the food pyramid as quickly as possible. I'm supposed to be at the peace conference with the other delegates. Thank you so much for getting us out of there, Sam. You're a real hero. See you later. Gee. Those troops shouldn't bother me. After all, there's no blue food, right? But I'm not taking any chances. Here's another box top. Very sad. What are these? Those are library cards. If you could bring me a picture of yourself, I'll put it on the card and you'll be able to borrow books from the library. Neat. Check out this book, please. Do you have a library card? No. Do I need one? Yes, you certainly do. Can I check out that book now? Do you have a library card? No. Do I need one? Yes, you certainly do. Yeah. 
must be the peace conference, right? Yes, that's right. It's nice to see you again, Sam. Ah, gee. Excuse me, I don't believe we've met. <laughs> no. Oh, I'm sorry. Luke, this is Pajama Sam. Sam, this is Luke Wigglebake from the Fast and Sweet. I was asked to be here because of my remarkably good taste. I see. These chairs are for the other four delegates to the Peace Conference. I'm glad to see you made it here, okay? All thanks to you, Sam. Carrot. Sam! Boy, am I glad to see you. The island of Mop Top is in big trouble. Mop Top? Yeah, Mop Top. Here's what's going down. The folks who live on Mop Top are all foods, right? The Fats and Sweets group is taking over. There's just so many of them. They're causing problems all over the island. General Beefoot wants to declare war on them. That doesn't sound very good. You got that right. So, I've organized a peace conference. One member of each of the six food groups has been chosen as a delegate, and they're supposed to all get together here at the pyramid to talk out their differences. I think Florette said something about that before. Right. She's one of the delegates at the conference. Trouble is, only two are here and there are supposed to be six. That's bad news. We need everybody or the conference is off. What? The conference is off? All right, that's it. This means war! No, General, no! The conference is still on. Oh, one more thing, Sam. I've got to stay here and keep the General from declaring war. So somebody needs to find the other four delegates and get them here. They must have run into trouble, or they'd be here by now. I can find them for you. Pajama Sam always helps those in need. But how will I recognize them? That part is easy. They'll all be wearing straw hats. Florette and Luke Wigglebig are here. The delegates still missing are Chuck Cheddar, Dean 47, Granny Smythe, and Pierre Lapin. What's this? A garrison of sweets just marched through the headlands! War, I tell you! No, General, wait! Boy, i better find those delegates and get them here as fast as I can! This is a map of the island of Mop Top. Of course it is, soldier! Wouldn't be very useful otherwise. I suppose not. Hi, I'm Pajama Sam. Great Rhubarb Private! It's about time you got here! Where are those reports I asked for? I'm sorry. I don't think you asked me for any reports. Uh, we've never really spoken before. Oh, well then, it's a good thing you didn't bring me any reports. Keep it up, lad. You might get a promotion out of this. be doing tied to a tree like this. That's a good point. <laughs> Whoop! Oh my! 
It's a good thing I can float. Say, the water is very nice today. Why don't you come in for a swim, Sam? The water's lovely. I don't want to get too wet before dinner. But maybe you could give me a ride. Sure, hop on. Boy, this is great! Look at all these different sauces! Yes, it's a condiment tree! Oh boy, ketchup! Ketchup is good on everything! This ketchup might come in handy! This is... I'll take this mayonnaise! It could come in handy! I'll put this other one back! I don't want to be greedy! French fry? I'm not a French fry. I'm Pajama Sam. Oh, so you are. Do you like French fries? I love French fries. Especially with relish. Mmm, relish. That's the only way I'll eat them, actually, is with relish on them. Then there's no stopping me. I like mine with ketchup. Well, different strokes for different folks. Boy, ketchup! Ketchup is good on everything! This is relish, the kind you make with pickles. This is teriyaki sauce. My mom likes to cook things with it. Ew, horseradish! This stuff is too strong for me. But, mmm, hot sauce! Ew, horseradish! This stuff is too strong for me. But some people like it. Mmm, hot sauce! And it's the extra spicy kind! Mmm, mustard! I like mustard on my sandwiches! This one's vinegar! It tastes awful by itself, but it's good on salads and things! Barbecue sauce! I put this on my peas! Mom thinks I'm nuts, but it's good! I'll just put this back for now! Oh, this is mayonnaise. Mom puts it in deviled eggs. Yum! This is relish. The kind you make with pickles. You never know when you might need some relish. Muscle Beach. Hi, 
my pajama Sam. Are you one of the delegates for the peace conference? But yes, I am Pierre Lepin of the Breads and Grands Group. Can you get down from there? Alas, no, I am trapped. The Ferris wheel, she has no power. The exercise machine on the beach furnishes the power, but no one seems to be exercising, and so she does not move. Hmm, well, I'll think of something. Thank you. For the peace conference to be deprived of Pierre? This is not good. Here's another box top! Hi! Do you sell balloons? Give the boy a college scholarship. He's a genius. Do you like selling balloons? Oh, yeah. It's the fulfillment of all my hopes and dreams. I can do this. Please pose for your picture. allowed one photo per customer. It sure got the hair right. Ha <laughs> 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 ha! <laughs> but seriously, folks, let me ask you this. What goes ha 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 ha, plop, plop, plop? An orange holding its breath. Hey! You ain't funny! Bring back the other guy! Don't you get it? Orange, breath, plop, plop, plop. Plop this, wise guy! It's true. He really isn't very funny. But hey, tell me, what do you think of these shoes, eh? <laughs> thank you, thank you. All right, next up is Tom Rutabaga, the Knock Knock King. How about a nice hand for Mickey Hollandaise, folks? Mickey Hollandaise in his great big floppy shoes! <laughs> All right, folks, check this out! It'll knock you right out of your seats! Knock, knock! Who's there? Omelette! Omelette who? I'm a lot funnier than Mickey Hollandaise is! <laughs> you like that, huh? Okay, how about this one? Knock, knock! Who's there? We! We who? We like you to open the doors so we can come in! <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, check this out! Knock, knock! Who's there? Dwayne! Dwayne who? Dwayne the top! I'm drowning! <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, check this out! Knock, knock! Who's there? Peace! Peace who? Peace, open the door! I wanna come in! <laughs> I can tell you're a discerning audience. Knock, knock. Who's there? Pear. Pear who? Apparently you don't want to open the door. But I wish you would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here's another box top. Is it all right if I take your pumpkin? Sure, kid. Knock yourself out. Thanks. Hi. I am... Um, 
I saw your act. <sighs> Tell me the truth. Did I stink? Well... I knew it. Oh, I am awful. No, I wouldn't say that. Why don't you tell me a joke right now? A joke? Oh, okay. Why did the... Ah, uh, no, that's not it. Uh, what color was the... No, no. Oh, crap, I can't even tell one joke. That's okay. Lots of people can't tell jokes. But I'm a professional comedian. Oh, yeah. I wish I had a better head for jokes. Knock, knock. Who's there? Wendy. <laughs> Wendy who? Wendy, last time you heard this many hilarious jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you. I'd better not. Somebody could get hurt. Do you know if the conference it has started already? I think they're waiting for everyone to get there first. Ah, this is good. But if everyone doesn't get there soon, the general is going to declare war on the sweets and fats. Ah, this. It is not so good. You must get me down so that I may help. I'll think of something. You guys look healthy. Yeah, we know. Shouldn't you be working out or something? Not now, dude. They're busy. We have to draw those cupcakes for our art class. Do you guys like to work out? Oh, yeah. Working out is almost as imp This exercise machine is connected to the Ferris wheel. Yep, that's right, little dude. When we work out, it makes the wheel go around. What's up? Oh, you know, we're just baking, you know. This pumpkin has kind of a scary face. This pumpkin has kind of a scary face. Sprinkle, let's go. Okay. can make you a library card. Can I use this card now? Yes, you can. You may keep the book for three weeks. After that, the fine is $400 a day. That seems like kind of a lot. Just have the book back in three weeks! Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thank <laughs> you. 
BSC-4000 Operator's Guide? BSC-4000? What's that? Battle Strength Concentrator? Bad Sweet Collector? Bombastic Super Collider? What is it, Private? Speak up! I think it stands for Bean Sorter Counter. Lumbering Legumes, son! I don't need that at all! Now, stand aside and let me think. Yes, sir. General, do you need a BSC-4000 Operator's Guide? BSC-4000? What's that? Battle Strength Concentrator? Bad Sweet Collector? Bombastic Super Collider? What is it, Private? Speak up! I think it stands for Bean Sorter Counter. Lumbering Legumes, son! I don't need that at all! Now, stand aside and let me think. Yes, sir. I don't think he'd be interested in that. I'm tired of being in jail. I don't want to go back there. Oh, we're good. We're guards. Yeah, we're guarding the uh, uh, entrance. This entrance right here. We're guarding it. I see. Um, look, a sweet potato. Where is that? I don't see anybody. Oh, hello, sir. Welcome to the A-Complex, Mr. Uh... Uh, Gord. I'm Gord. Mr. Gord, very good. Oh, yes, that's, that's very good. I think I'll just go on in here now. Hold it, that's the... Oh, wait a minute. It's Gord's only, right? Yes, and he's a Gord. So I guess that means, um... That means we let him in. Aha! This is more cramped than the hall closet of our house. I bet I could see all the way around the world with this thing. I think, uh, oh no, never mind, I don't see anything. Hello! Howdy! 
You're wearing a straw hat. Are you one of the delegates to the peace conference? I sure am. I'm Chuck Cheddar, Cheese of Adventure. I'm Pajama Sam. Do you need help? I think so. I parachuted in and got stuck on this ledge. Now I can't get across. I'll see what I can do. Much obliged, Pajama Sam. Hi, I'm Pajama Sam. This is an avalanche zone. If you make too much noise, tons of snow could come sliding down the mountain. Oh. Here's another box top. I don't want to get into trouble. <laughs> Quiet. Avalanche zone. Shh. Avalanche means that if you make a loud enough noise, a bunch of snow might come falling down the mountain. I see. You guys sure are working hard. Shh. Quiet. Remember what we said about the avalanches. Oh, yeah. Another box top. I'm Sam. I am called Syllabus the Sage. For reasons I cannot fathom. Fathom? I sit here atop Mount Wisdom and ponder the deeper mysteries of the universe. What are you pondering right now? I am considering the nature of cheese. Ooh, I like cheese. Well then, perhaps you will be able to help me find the answer to the great three-part question of the nature of cheese. What are the three parts of the question? First, I must know which fork at the table is the cheese fork. Hmm, I don't know that one. The second part of the question is this. What sort of cheese is the moon made of? Oh boy, that's easy. I saw it through the telescope. It's free. Amazing. A telescope. Why didn't I think of that? The last part is perhaps the most important. What sort of cheese is the best to put in a cheese sandwich? Hmm, that's a good one. I'll let you know if I can find out answers to any more of those. Don't touch that. Okay. That is the fabled horn of celebration. It is blown only when I reach the answer to a question I have been pondering. I see. Can we blow the horn now? You found the answer to a question. No, we've only found the answer to part of the question. I must answer the whole question before we can blow the horn. Hey, a gondola! I wonder where it goes. A ski resort! Boy, this place has got everything! Here's another box top. Oh boy, I'm gonna go skiing.
Wow, a plunger! What a strange thing to find on a ski run. Another ride. Sure, anytime. Say, I was wondering. Uh, uh uh What do we do when we see a door, young man? Um, knock on it, I guess. Hello, young man. What can we do for you today? My name is Sam. It's a pleasure to meet you, Sam. My name is Selma Celery, and this is my sister, Selena Celery. Hello. Hello. We teach dancing and etiquette here. What do you do? Right now, I'm helping a carrot prevent a war by finding peace delegates and getting them to a big conference. How delightful. Yes, war is always such a filthy business. Garnish. That would be garnish, dear boy. Do try it. Garnish. Excellently done. Thank you. You're quite welcome. I'm pretty sure that won't work. That's not going to do me any good. Say, I was wondering. Uh, uh, uh. What do we do when we see a door, young man? Um, knock on it, I guess. Hello, young man. What can we do for you today? Have you seen anyone around here with a straw hat? A straw hat? I think maybe one of those beans at the construction site had one. Don't you, Selma? Uh, yes, perhaps. But I do try not to think about those uncouth legumes. They make such a racket. Here's another box top. I hope I can find 20. Hi, I'm Sam. Oh, hi. I see you've got a straw hat. Are you a delegate to the peace conference? No, uh, I'm the foreman here. I was supposed to give this hat to bean number 47, who is our delegate. But I can't. Why not? Because we don't know which bean is number 47. I was going to use the new BCS 4000 bean counter sorter. <laughs> but I don't have the instruction manual, so I can't put it together. That does sound like a problem. It is. Oh dear. Oh dear. I don't think that will work. Do you know anything about technical manuals? Oh! 
It's the BCS 4000 Operator's Guide by Dr. Gizmo Fluting. Sprouts be praised! We can put the machine together! Quick! Help me! Take an end! That ought to just about do it! Thanks for all your help, Sam. Hey, what do you say? Shall we fire it up? I'll let you do the honors. Sure! All beans to the counting and sorting machine. I can use this machine to sort the beans and find number 47. The kidney beans go on one side, and the jelly beans go on the other. I can change which way the beans fall by clicking on those switches. It looks like you're being number 47. So you've got to represent us at the peace conference. It's a great honor! You better take this hat, in case there's any confusion. Thank you, Foreman! I'll be on my way immediately! Well, that's one down, three to go. Good work, Sam. And good luck. Thanks.
ride. Sure, anytime. Here's another box top. Welcome to the Blubberbs. <laughs> Selma Celery. Garnish. Good for one free etiquette lesson. Hmm. Well, it's free. Ooh, etiquette lessons. What is etiquette anyway? It's like being polite when you talk. Setting the table properly. That kind of stuff. Oh. What are you all jumping for? It's not jumping, we're dancing. It's called the pogo. Don't you ever get tired? Us? Tired? No, especially not at dancing. Aren't you bored of this dance? Yeah, but it's the only one we know. RX-1000 food suspender, the Cadillac of lunchboxes. It's vacuum sealed, and it has a nitrogen base temperature regulator. That's pretty fancy for a lunchbox. No, it has to be. Inside, perfectly preserved, I've got the ultimate. The best cheese sandwich ever made. Really? I love cheese sandwiches. What kind of cheese do you use? Munster, of course. It's the best for cheese sandwiches. Mmm, mmm, sounds delicious. You guys are all plumbers, right? Right. Say, that's a nice wrench. Yep. That's a Shaftsman High Tensile Monkey Man with 30 to 300 auto zoom and... Hey, are you in the union? The union? The plumber's union. Let's see your plunger. Well, I'll be. I guess you are in the union. Yeah, that's a real nice plunger. Real nice. Yeah, it's always nice to meet a fellow plumber. Folks call me scissors. This is paper. And that's rock over there. I'm Pajama Sam. It's a pleasure, Sam. Likewise. Yeah. Anything you need, you just ask. Can I use that wrench? Why, sure you can. We're all plumbers here. Thanks. I helped install plumbing on that space station, too. Did I tell you that? I was the only one who could throw the pipes high enough. Wow! I wonder what this does. I could fix this. I need to find a spare that looks like the clogged one. That's not going to do me any good. I wonder what I can use to loosen these pipes and take them apart. 
That section looks okay. I don't need to replace it. I'll bet that bulging pipe is why the drain upstairs is backing up. I don't think that will do much good. I'm pretty sure that won't work. These must be spare pipes just in case. I'm pretty sure that won't work. There's a big bulge in one of these pipes. I think that's a big old clog. I'll bet if I replaced the clogged pipe with one of these spare pipes, it would work. That's not gonna do me any good. do much good. I could use one of these to replace the clock door. Pretty sure that won't work. I'm pretty sure that won't work. I don't think that will do much good. These must be spare pipes just in case. That's not going to do me any good. I don't think that will work. I wonder what I can use to loosen these pipes and take them apart. There, now the clog is gone at least. like a perfect fit. <laughs> there, that should do it. Aha, uh -huh, I've got it. Now we can finally relax. So guys, what's up? We were just talking about rubber gaskets. Oh boy! Do you think I could have a taste of your cheese sandwich? Are you kidding? This is the finest cheese sandwich ever made! We can't just eat it. How would it be if I just looked at your cheese sandwich? No, I don't want to break the vacuum seal. The sandwich will last longer if we don't open the lunchbox. It looks like your clog got fixed. 
Yep, I finally got it. You see, you just gotta keep at it. I don't think he'd be interested in that. I'm pretty sure that won't work. He's seen it already. That's not gonna do me any good. It's working fine now. How did you get to be called Paper? All the good names were taken. Oh. Are you sure I can't have just a little taste of your sandwich? Positive. It's a work of art. It must be preserved. Is Scissors your real name? They call me Scissors because I'm the sharpest guy around. Oh. Come on, Sprinkle, let's go. Okay. He'd be interested in that. <coughs> oh, hey, check this out! Knock, knock! Who's there? Artie Choke! Artie Choke who? I don't think he'd be interested in that. <laughs> yeah, I got a million of them! Knock, knock! Who's there? Harry! Harry who? like to take some etiquette lessons? How rude! Like, I can't believe you're asking us that! What are you trying to say, spiky head boy? Nothing. How will you know when you're done baking? Like we use a timer, you know? PTH will be totally over when the bell rings. I'd better not monkey with that. It looks complicated. He'd be interested in that. <coughs> yeah! This is my kind of crowd! Knock, knock! Who's there? Artichoke who? Artichoke speak! I don't think he'd be interested in that. Yeah! This is my kind of crowd! Who's there? Police! Police! Come on, Sprinkle, let's go! Okay!
syllabus? Can you remind me about the parts of the cheese question that are left? Certainly. Part one is which fork at the table is the cheese fork? Uh-huh. Part three is what sort of cheese is the best to put in a cheese sandwich? Oh, I know which one it is. The plumber told me Munster cheese is the best. Of course. I should have thought to ask a plumber. I'll keep working on that last one. Hey, Syllabus, can you tell me again the last part of the cheese question? Surely. I want to know which fork the cheese fork is. Uh-huh. I'll keep working on that last one. Ferris wheel anyway. I thought you were supposed to be on your way to the conference. Ah, well, you see, I was distracted by a young lady. Eclair, she was called. Oh, she was most sweet. And she took you on the Ferris wheel? Uh, she was in need of the attentions of mm -hmm. Pierre. Uh, I could not refuse. Would you muffins like a coupon for some etiquette lessons? Whoa, we took those lessons last year. They're definitely worth what you pay. I don't want to get 
get into trouble. I don't think he'd be interested in that. What happens if you sell all your balloons? I can buy a new pair of shoes. Velcro shoes. What's wrong with the ones you've got? Nothing if you've got all day to tie them. The laces keep coming undone. Say, those are nice. Oops. Darn these laces. They're always coming undone. Here, kid, hold these for me, would you? Sure. Whoops. Um... We're done, girls. Peak panning hours are over. Bye-bye, boys. Let's go get some frozen yogurt. Oh. Darn. I hope they come back tomorrow. But will be done till then. Work out some more. What else? Yeah. All right. Say the wheel returns. I am seven. Um, help! Courage, mon ami. You must grab onto the wheel. Zoot! Ah, excellent! Now we are both seven, and I can continue on to the conference of peace. Say, what happened to my? Oh shoot. Oh well, I needed a new career anyhow. Mm, perhaps you can start the taxi service. I need to go to the food pyramid. Can you take me there? Sure, hop in. Au revoir, my pajama friend. Au revoir! That's two down, two to go. Crowd. Knock, knock! Who's there? Wendy! <laughs> Wendy! I don't think he'd be interested in that. Wendy, last time you heard this many hilarious... <laughs> I could use a rock again. Hop on! for a free etiquette lesson? So you do, young man, so you do. Come right in. <coughs> Table manners are the most commonly neglected rules of etiquette in these modern times, so that's what we'll cover in today's lesson. First, a few pointers, all right? Okay. Never rest your arm on the table while eating. Eat your soup with a spoon. Do not slurp it from the bowl. Never throw food at the table. Excuse yourself before making funny animal noises. Do not draw and poke holes in or set fire to the tablecloth. Standing on the table during a meal is not permitted. Eat all the food on your plate and do it in alphabetical order. Are we okay so far? Um, I guess so. Good. Now a few words about place settings. The dinner plate goes in the center with the bread plate to the left and the glass or glasses at the upper right. Silverware should be placed as follows. Forks on the left. Salad fork. Seafood fork. And steak fork. To the right we have the steak knife. Seafood knife. Soup spoon. Cocktail weenie poker, swizzle stick, and mashy nibble. Dessert silverware is set separately after the meal. Any questions? Um, which one is the cheese fork? The cheese fork will be the one which is brought with the cheese. Oh, that's easy then. This concludes our lesson for today. 
Thank you for coming, and we do hope you'll consider us for all your etiquette needs in the future. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Hey, Sprinkle, how about another ride? Sure, anytime. Right again. Hop on. Again, the last part of the cheese question? Surely. I wanted to know which fork the cheese fork is. I learned that one. The cheese fork is the one that gets brought with the cheese. Excellent. It is elegant in its simplicity. Well, this is fabulous. You've helped me to answer all the parts of the great question of the nature of cheese. You are a wise young man, Sam. Thank you. And now, for my favorite part. We get to eat some cheese? No, we get to blow the horn of celebration. I do it every time I get the answer to one of my questions. Since you helped me so much, Perhaps you would like to do the honors. Oh boy! Would I? <gasps> oh no! Not again! Say, kid, great plan. You really helped me out of a jam here. Thanks. You're welcome. I'd stick around and swap stories with you, but I've got to get to that peace conference pronto. See you around, Sam. Bye. Well, I guess we gotta start the hole over again. Let's take a break first. Good idea. Come on, everybody, break time. That's three down. Only one more delegate to go. again. Hop on! Come on, Sprinkle, let's go! Okay! Do me any good.
shall we? Let's shall! I'm a lousy comedian. I wish I had a better head for jokes. I'm such a failure. Did I tell you once I bombed so badly that... You think plungers are funnier than big shoes? I don't know. I'm not really a prop comic. Or I wish I wasn't. <sighs> that wouldn't be very nice. That wouldn't be very nice. A crowd. Knock knock. Who's there? Key. Shall we? Let's shall. More sauces right now. I hope I never have to go back to jail again. Good help nowadays. What's that over there? Uh, the enemy! 
I think the general is about ready to explode. How's it coming with the delegates? They're all at the conference now except for one. Right on, Sam. Right on. Right on what? I mean, good work. Oh, thanks. How's it coming with that last delegate? We don't have much time. Don't worry. My Jamma Sam is on the job. Hey, have I mentioned how happy I am that you're helping me out with this peace conference thing? I'm always glad to help. How's the general? I think he sent his mind out to the cleaners. How soon do you think you can get that last delegate here for the conference? Soon. Good. see anything. Oh, hello, Mr. Gord, sir. Yes, hello. Excuse me, please. 
Why, certainly, Mr. Gord. Go right on in. Oh, I think, uh... Oh, no, never mind. I don't see anything. go down there. Oh boy, I'm gonna go skiing! I could use a ride again. Hop on! Come on, Sprinkle, let's go! Okay! I do, Sonny. I'm stuck out here, and I don't swim. Never fear. Sam is here. I'll find a way to get to you. Make it snappy, would you? I'm late for the conference. I think I'm growing. I feel bigger. Trapped out there, Granny Smythe. It was those sweet. I told them to stop roughhousing. And they picked me up and put me out here. Mm. Huh. It won't quite reach. get a longer one of these. If 
you're not using that big plunger right now, would you like to trade me for a while? Why, sure, I guess that'd be all right. I've been working with Rock for years, so I'm used to it. for me. Goodbye. Bye-bye. I think that's all the delegates. I'd better get to the food pyramid myself to make sure everything goes okay. I'm telling you, meals should consist strictly of dairy products, for health reasons. But it is the breads which are the most healthy of foods. Hi, everybody. How's it going? Krusty here thinks he's healthier than I am. This cheese has gone rancid. I cannot negotiate with him. Uh-oh. You're both fools. The bean way is the only way. Nonsense! Fruits are the principal staple for meals and dessert. What do you know, you old crab apple? A lot more than you, you overgrown lump of mold. Please, let's not resort to name-calling. Who made you the boss, you wilted weed? Flathead! Shrub. Entree. Loaf. Pabulum. Grub. Morsel. Gobbit. Tidbit. Stop! What's going on in here? I thought I heard shouting. This maze war! No. No, it doesn't. You're all being silly fighting like this. If there's one thing I've learned since I've been here, it's that no food is an island. What? What are you talking about? You two are arguing about whether cheese or bread is better, but it takes cheese and bread to make a cheese sandwich, which is maybe the most perfect food there is. And neither of you could do it without the other. Hmm. Say right. Hmm. Cheese sandwich. And there's other stuff, too. What about peanut butter and jelly? Or macaroni and cheese? Or peaches and cream? Mmm. <clears throat> All the best things to eat are made by different kinds of food working together. And that's what you should all be doing. Instead of fighting, you can work together to create new and better things. New? Better? Sure. Like maybe an apple, broccoli, bean, cheese, and lollipop sandwich. The kids got a point. We have been most foolish. Put her there, partner. <laughs> Cooperation? Why this means... means I'm... Um... Peace, General. Peace. Exactly. In that case, I hereby officially and irrevocably declare... Peace. Hooray! Great speech, Sam. You really saved the day with that one. I'm glad I could help. Can you stick around to help us make plans for the future? Or have you got to get home for dinner? Dinner? Oh my gosh! I forgot! 